Hey guys, our decline here, average picker. So we're going to try another attempt on Geo Gemstones Heavy Metal Challenge Lock. Um, I've got about three opens now on it. Um, of course, none of those on camera. Um, but we're going to spend about five minutes right now on it. And if I don't get it, we're just going to go ahead and call it and do a gut. Um, this is more about you guys getting to see the lock than it is about me showing off my picking. So, and there we go. Whew, that's a lot quicker than the other three. I think the other, so the first, the, I had the counterclockwise fail and then about three minutes after I cut the camera off, I had it open about three to four minutes. Um, the second open going counterclockwise took me about eight. And the third one, I was right in for about five minutes. So we do have a key and it is mummified. Um, the extra tape is actually from when it was taped to the lock. So, let's see what we've got on this thing. Oh gosh, what is this, gaffer's tape? Or just some crazy Canadian duct tape. Of course, I've cleaned everything up around here I don't have any scissors laying nearby, so otherwise I would just try to cut it off. I'm not even sure where the knife got to. There we go. Okay, so we can see the bidding there. Um, honestly, I don't know what the bidding is normally like on these keys. Um, and there's so many... There's so much warding in there, I don't really know if that's a crazy cut for one of these keys or not. Um, let's see. So, uh, very smooth. So I think we do have some top end screws and I think rather than bending up the C-clip, we're just gonna go in through the top. So, let's see. Get it? Yep. If these come out, well, maybe we will be doing the. I don't want to. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> these were lock nutted in there or something. I didn't want to break that. Okay, so that's interesting. I do not see a spring on one. Man, it wouldn't have flown out on me, would it? Oh, there it is. Oh gosh, this might have been a bad way to do it, guys. I think I'm going to be contacting Geo, seeing if he's got a picture of these, because the way they just dumped out was not how I was expecting them to dump out. So it's interesting though, because so I, when this bit comes off, there is actually another piece of metal in there before you get to the spring. Oh gosh. Guys, I apologize. I'm sort of making a mess of this, but think I 
see what's going on here. <clears throat> That's the way I should have been doing it from the start. See if I can get it correct for the other ones. We've got a storm coming in. I don't know if you're hearing that. Gosh, which way was could have been orientated any direction? So all the uh, key pins have been standard so far. I don't know, man, the way these are snapping, I don't know if this is the way he went in and did this lock. Either that or he got these things on there really good. out before you eject that hmm Oh, guys, wait until you see these pins, guys. These are crazy. There are a, cu there are a couple of them. I don't think are, I'm not sure if they're orientated correctly, but... You know, it occurs to me the camera was 
been tilted up that whole time, <laughs> so sorry about that. But anyway, we are going to flip the camera around now so you can get a look at these. Okay, so this is Geo's uh, heavy metal lock, um, you know, minus the one cap that was still up there. Well, minus two, because one I screwed back into the cylinder because it's stuck, so we need to get it off. But so you can see, we've got the caps, and then we have these small pins up there that just, I guess, kind of serve to uh, put some more tension on the springs, just kind of spring them up more. Um, otherwise, I guess the distance, oops. I guess that distance uh, would probably be too much for the springs and you wouldn't have a whole lot of effect on them. So you, these are just kind of serving as spacers, I guess. So I'm pretty sure all these are orientated correctly. So that would be our first driver. And all our key pins, you can see, are standard. <clears throat> and then that would be our second driver. So the way I have them set up, the shear line is here between them. There is number three. It's a really nice, there's nothing, um, Oh, really crazy about a lot of I mean they're just really good well I guess that one does because it has that taper down on it um, but I guess what I was gonna say was it's nothing overly alien just really good solid work on what arguably would already be slightly advanced uh, pins Look at that guy. That is a really sharp serration here we've got down at the end. And then he's into that kind of spool. You know, it occurs to me I should have actually, I should have pulled the core um, so you could see how much of those are sitting down in there. And look at this spooler. Crazy thin. Very, very deep. Now I can tell you six, I don't think was sitting very deeply though. Um, let's see, so we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the cut seems to be about there on it. Um, but this guy did not need a whole lot of lifting um, to get him set, right? Here, I'll turn the key around so you can see it this way. So that would be more what you'd be looking at. <clears throat> um, didn't have to do a whole lot, so there was not much of this spool at play, I don't think. Um, now I say that because on the other hand, there was something back in there that kept giving me counter rotation feedback. Um, but it seemed to set fairly easily, especially if you went for it first. Um, so if you went to the back, and lifted the back up first, which is what I did on this last pick. Um, you didn't have to get a whole lot of that. Now, that said, it was two, one, and then three, which, if you were going counterclockwise, um, seemed to be what wanted to set first. All of these tended to be very springy feeling, and two wanted to set, then one wanted to set, and then three, and then you were kind of left back here with a lot of springiness, and it could have been, it's possible I'd overset something in this at that point. Um, going, um, and that's going clockwise, sorry. Uh, going counterclockwise, which is how we just did the pick and how I've done the other, um, the previous three to this one, though, uh, the binding order, I didn't have a clear binding order on it, um, though I was typically starting in the back, and then I was jumping up to somewhere around here, skirting that back into here, and then moving up there. So there we go. I will zoom in on those again for you. Um, very nice work there, Geo. Um, congratulations again on your um, leg sweep thing that you did and getting up into purple. And that's this has been an awesome little fun lock to pick on. So I uh, really appreciate you sending it to me. The storm's coming in. Hopefully the internet won't cut out and I'll be able to get this uploaded. All right, guys, you have a good one. Glad you got to see this finally. <laughs>